Hey guys, this is Zero here with another vlog review. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the uh, Kamen Rider Blade movie, Missing Ace. I'm also testing out some new lighting here. Um, it's uh, it's a rainy day out today, so natural light is not as bright. Um, so I, I've got white light now in my room, so hopefully this will look better. Um, but uh, yeah. So, uh, Missing Ace. Um, it's another what if story. Um, and just like... Uh, and just like, um, sorry, unlike Godspeed Love, again, this is another good one. Um, the what if story is if they had defeated the undead, like, as intended, like, in the show. Like, uh, if, uh, Kenzaki and the rest of them defeated the undead, um, including, and, like, sealed all the undead, including, uh, Joker. Um, which... Anybody who's seen the show probably knows who Joker is, so... So, this is like a couple years after, and they're getting together for uh, a birthday party for, uh... Uh, what's the one girl's name? Uh, the girl that is obsessed with Hajime. Um, it's a couple years later, and it's gonna be like her 14th birthday or something like that. 16, I think it's her actually Sweet 16. And, uh... Because Hajime isn't around anymore, she's like a shoplifter. She starts shoplifting, getting into all sorts of trouble. She doesn't respect anybody. And, um... So that's one subplot of the the movie. The main subplot is Kenzaki is... Basically, he's a gar a garbage truck guy. And he's just like, I, I miss being a rioter because it was... It was a good job. I liked protecting people. And, um, he's going around, uh... And, um... The milk guy who he lived with, I'm, his name escapes me right now, is now a big shot. So he gets him. He's like, "Hey, I'm trying to get, uh, I'm trying to get everybody uh, for my sister's birthday, or my niece's birthday, I should say." So uh, they try rounding everybody up, and everybody's got different things going on. They want to forget that life, or they have other things going on. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the undead start popping up again. Um, but uh, they don't have their transformation cards because for being able to transform because those undead um, have been unleashed and uh, they can't really do anything about it because they need the cards to transform. So instead, there's three new riders who use uh, different ace cards. Um, and uh, they're all sort of based on the same thing. There's two guys and a girl. And uh, they basically take care of everything. When uh, they find out about who Kenzaki and the others are, they're like, well, we don't need you guys. We're the new riders. You guys used to be the riders. So... Um, essentially, it's like they're saying, you're not needed, we got this, don't worry about it. Um, so they go to board, they find out board's still around, and guess who's the head of board? Um, it's, uh, tashiba <laughs> You know, the guy who had more problems than you could count on one hand in the show? He's now the head of a corporation that seals on deads. That'd be my first choice. <laughs> So anyways, um, the movie's about uh, the undeads, and um, as time goes on, the riders start getting killed off, so the original riders have to come back, but we don't know who's doing the killing. Well, if you pay attention, you can probably figure out who's doing the killing, but uh, um, eventually it comes down to we find out who is the real killer, and they have to be stopped, and um, that's basically the plot of the movie without me spoiling anything else that happens. I think I already spoiled quite a bit, but, um, uh, it's a really good movie. It furthers the characters from the show, uh, which I like. Um, it's a good what if story because the ending of Blade is far different than what ends up in the movie. Um, I think the movie storyline as a what if is actually more expected as an ending to Blade, but, uh, the actual ending to Blade is much better, much better done. And uh, it's uh, it's something I didn't expect. Um, so, but yeah, this is a pretty good movie if you want to see uh, what if they sealed all the undead sort of thing. I'm not saying they don't in the end, but you'll see when you see the when you, if you see the end of the series. Um, so this is going to be a very short review because. I haven't got much to say, because uh, it's a really good movie. There's lots of good action scenes. Uh, the new riders are cool, but not too cool, just cool enough. Um, and I recommend it if you like Blade. Um, definitely check it out, because it's worth a view. 
It really is that simple sometimes. Um, so anyways, this has been Zero for another vlog review. Next time, uh, it should be some more anime. And don't forget to check out my anime review requests. I still, I'm still taking requests, but, uh, uh, my list is quickly filling up, so... Yeah, anyways guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next review.